All right, well, good morning. Thanks for coming in here today, uh, on short notice anyway. You may recall a couple weeks ago, the State Assembly held a press conference on the murder balance test, uh, which in Wisconsin we call the Badger test, and we're expressing dismay at the problems that have come up with that test. Uh, and what we're going to try to do to solve that problem and deal with it. Uh, along with that, uh, kind of brewing at that time was a controversy in the state as to who was going to be allowed opt-outs to that test. Uh, it was only logical that we had a test that uh, was problematic and so a lot of parents were seeking opt-outs for that test. Now most districts across the state were just giving blanket opt-outs across the board for the test, but some districts were taking certain grades and not opting them out. And so at that time I had said I was examining whether or not I would be looking to amend AB 78, which is a bill we're going to be taking up in committee here in just a few minutes, uh, or whether I would do separate legislation. And I decided after some investigation that I was going to do separate legislation. And so today we will be circulating for co-sponsorship a bill uh, that is going to do three things. Uh, first thing it would do is it would deal with the problem of the inconsistent application of the opt-outs in Wisconsin. Uh, the bill would provide a blanket opt-out at parental request for grades 3 through 12 for the summative test, uh, which is the Badger test right now. Uh, second thing that it would do is that all school districts across the state, uh, and some of them are already doing this, uh, at the beginning of each school year, they would be required to provide to their families a comprehensive list of all of the summative and formative exams that are given to all the students across all the grades, and on that form also tell what the test is for, what the data is going to be used for, when is the test going to be taken, uh, how long is the test going to be, and also it, whether or not there is a policy on opting out for that particular test. And so that would have to happen on a yearly basis. And then the third thing that it would do uh, is because right now on the state report cards there is a 95% participation requirement, and if you don't reach 95% participation for your particular school, uh, your report card can receive a penalty because of that. And so this would take away that penalty on the report card so that the 95% portion would not would no longer apply. So if we're gonna if we're gonna supply a blanket opt-out, then we shouldn't be requiring a 95% participation rate. And when we're done here, uh, we'll hand out press release to each one of you, uh, as well as a copy of what the bill says. I'd be happy to take a couple questions before I got to head in for the committee hearing today. Do you worry that not having that having a lower percentage um, participation will make the results less reliable, less useful to, to people, to the district, to families? Well, what I think is that if schools are going to be providing these tests, yes, some of them are required by the state, but some of them are district choices. Uh, that if you're going to require these tests of the parents, you should have to sell it to the parents. Why is it important? And that's one of the reasons for the form that is sent home is to be straightforward. This is why we need to take this test. This is why it's important for us as a district, why it's important for the state, why you as a parent to be able to have this information available. So they, they need to sell the tests to those who are taking them. But if the tests are mandated by the state or by the federal government, why is it the school district responsibility to, to sell it when they're being mandated to give it? Well, if you're going to provide an opt-out, which is what the schools are doing right now for 4th, 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th, uh, then you should provide an opt-out across the board. Now, if it's the state having to sell the test, then I completely agree. That should be something that the state should be pushing for also. Uh, but the school districts are an arm of the state. I would say that if you do have a large number of opt-outs, then you have a large number of parents who aren't being convinced that the test is good and that the reasoning for taking it is good. Uh, we should be giving a test 
that just about everybody thinks is a good idea. Does this run into any problems with federal requirements on participation rates? Well, if it does, uh, we're already challenging that as it is because the federal government is requiring tests in third through eighth grade and once in high school, and we're already providing opt-outs in fourth, eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh. And so this is just making it consistent across the state, and it's taking away the confusion that exists among many of the parents. Uh, I mean, imagine having a, a fourth grader and a fifth grader, and you don't like the test as a parent for whatever the reason may be, so you request an opt-out and you're told that your fourth grader can opt out but your fifth grader can't. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me and I'm certain it doesn't make any sense to that parent. And school districts are kind of caught in the middle on this. They're, they want the test to be taken, they want to follow the statutes, but it's not entirely clear because those statutes were written for the smarter balance test, or excuse me, the statutes were written for the WKCE and not the current tests that we're having. Uh, if, if we were to rewrite those statutes right now, I suspect that uh, the opt-out would be written across the board just as it was written for fourth, eighth, tenth, and the once in high school at that time. Well, we have a hearing today, which we're obviously not hearing that particular bill, um, but I'm hoping to have it all for co-sponsorship for a week or two here, and, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks we can get it moving at committee. Here, thank you. Here's the, okay, uh, I got to head out. Here's the package. Okay.